Kayla, if you knew, if you're not new, how are you doing? How have you been? So, I want to apologize that there are no outfits in this video. This and the other sneaker video that I am going to be posting um, this month, they are pre filmed content. I am, as you're watching this, in Bermuda on Christmas vacation, and I just had a lot to do. My last assignment was due a couple of like four days before I was flying out. And so I had, I just, it was, I just didn't have time, honestly. So when I come back to England, I will be doing lookbooks for these two pairs of sneakers plus some other shoes that I did promise that I was going to be giving some lookbooks for. Um, but yeah, so I want to get into this sneaker. All information on this shoe will be in the description box, but we're going to unbox. We have right here to unbox. As you can tell by the box, it's a pair of Jordan 4s. You already know what they are by the title, don't you? But they are the Jordan 4 Reds. On here it just says Black Fire Red Cement Gray Air Jordan 4 Retro. Um, I've started getting my shoes in my true size because for whatever reason I like to pretend that I am a U.S. men's 8.5. But I'm a U.S. men's 9. And I have to just accept that. Which is a women's 10.5. Um... So that's what I got these in, and yeah, so it's just this box which has the splatter on it. You know, we used to see in that on the Jordan 4 boxes, my black cat box looked like this, but it was just all black, but it did have these splatters on it with, you know, the flight on top. So right here, you have the sticker with the details on the shoe, all of that wonderful things, your Air Jordan logo here. And then we're joining the logo here. Flight on the top, bottom of the box is looking like that. And yeah, let's just open her up. So inside the box, we have a StockX card. StockX. And I'm sure that the tag is in here as well. And StockX tag. And then, if you're curious, it's that same tissue paper in there that looks very much like trash bag. I will also say when I opened the box, there was a slight chemically smell. Like it kind of smells like my not my 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 smell is a bit off since having COVID, so I don't know if this is the true smell, but it smells similar to like when I open up my acetone. But here is the sneaker. So this is the Jordan for red and it reminds me very much of the black cat because of the material really and truly it's a very similar kind of material to the black cat in that it's not a regular leather that is like what you get on a jordan one it's not that same kind of material that you have on the um sale fours and it's not the same material that i have on my topes so it's very similar to the black cats in that regard so it has a black body with the cement gray hardware is what i will call it and then you have the cement gray the black the white and then the red throughout the sole nice beautiful details wonderful perfect love this little tag right here obviously you can remove it if you want to in terms of quality a1 detailing is beautiful the shoe looks great. There is a loose thread right here, but there's nothing. That's nothing that I can't just cut off. And I feel like sometimes I get really like specific and like nitpicky about these. But like I'm sure that the authentics there are probably a couple pairs that have a little extra little piece of thread on it, and it's not a big deal. So, but overall, in terms of placement and materials, and you know, just the, the mesh and all of the components of the shoe, the tongue, you know, you have your Air Jordan logo upside down in the inside of the tongue. But yeah, you have your Nike Air logo on the back in the gray color. Um, the Air Bubble, you know, the sole that reminds me of an Air Max. And here, the little bubble piece in the sole. And yeah, the shoe is just honestly very well done. I'm really, really happy to have these. I think that this is just a nice shoe. 
I love a pop of red. I don't know when I've turned into somebody that loves to have a shoe of red. I wore my Jordan 1 breads today actually and I just like I really do pull for them a lot. I feel like these are going to be a pair that I do pull a lot. I think it's a nice staple to have um, in your collection and I really 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 just I just really really like them and I'm just really happy to have them and these are the Jordan 4s. The Jordan 4 bread. And like I said, they're done so very well. So like I said, there will be no outfit, but I will do some on foot so that you can see what the sneaker is looking like on my foot, you know, so you can really get a feel for the shoe. So this is the Jordan 4 bread. This is what she's looking like. I just think it's really cute. I don't know. I think it's a really nice shoe, especially for the winter time. Uh, I think it's real nice. I'm really happy to have these. I can't wait to move into a bigger space where I can have a really nice space to just display all of the sneakers that I have because it's just like I'd be forgetting I have certain shoes and because of how to place I just don't have any desire to really go through and pull out a pair just to wear it but like 2022 we come with the looks for all the sneaks so yeah i want to just say a huge thank you to cm fashion for sending me these sneakers i really really appreciate it like i said check description box for everything about the shoe let me know down below if this is a cop or a drop for you do you feel like you need to have the sneaker in your life yes or no that is the end of this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy don't get subscribed to my channel because you know you want to be late with me time i post notifications follow me on instagram and tiktok actually because i do style stuff over there as well and i will see you in my next one peace out girl scout check you later